Upon launch of the NHI system, the government of St. Lucia seeks to provide the more underprivileged elements of society with insurance coverage. Chief Economist for Research and Policy in the Department of Finance, Janai Leos, says the cost of coverage for those unable to afford will be subsidized by the state. One of the, 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 the notions that the state is, is looking to do is where persons are poor and vulnerable and whatnot, to ensure that those persons can be provided with uh, um, insurance policies that would allow them to access an array of services and benefits that they otherwise would not have. So I think care is, care is, um, is, is being placed in the design of this, mm -hmm. that whatever is to be designed, the poor, the vulnerable and what have you, will be proxy means tested to ensure mm -hmm. that they meet the, the requisite standards for poverty and vulnerability. For the development of the NHI system will determine the most pragmatic model to produce a public safety net. One of the things that we have been working with the World Bank and our other stakeholders as we are in the design, design element is to address which modality is best. So would it be best for the state to purchase all of the policies and then have persons who are poor and vulnerable receive from the state and also persons who are not poor and vulnerable but would like to, to purchase insurance to do that for the state as well or whether it may be best to have the state simply focus on the poor and vulnerable mm -hmm. and allow your non-poor to be able to access through their employer, through a provider of their choice and so forth. The intent of the final phase of NHI is to include all demographics, including the underprivileged and persons in retirement age. From the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Jacques Hingson-Compton reporting.